12, 2181, the very first day of my summer vacation. My friend Chris, he's a boy, bet me that his vacation was going to be better than mine. Ha! Huh, he was going with his grandparents to skimboard the rings of Saturn. Big deal. Well, I told him that my vacation was going to be way cooler because I was going with my dad, Professor Newton and his pilot Jones, to find rare animals for the Earth's intergalactic animal preserve. The only problem was, even though I was nine years old, they still treated me like a baby. We'll recharge the fuel rods, then proceed to the planet Lightning. Alice, I want you to take a little nap. No way! I'm going to a football match between Earth and Planet Six! Earth doesn't stand a chance. Then go with her, Jones. She shouldn't go anywhere alone. Stop treating me like a baby, Dad! What could happen to me here on the boring old moon? It's the 22nd century! Come on, kid. You gotta listen to your pop. You never know what can happen to a little girl. <sighs> hmm. May I have your order, please? Special today, our rack of cassiopeian eel and poached plate of blam. Mmm, love that blam. Very good, sir. Professor, Professor Newton, our Professor Dolly. I haven't seen you since I began supervising <laughs> ah, the Absolute whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuel Project. What brings you here? I'm in an animal finding expedition, Grambo. Ah, yes, for Earth's preserve. So, how's that? Does she talk already? <laughs> yes. In fact, she never stops. She's trying to grow up before she's ready. Yes. We get old and rusty. We need fuel. Absolute fuel. I agree. Wait up. 400 milligrams of sulfuric bicarbonate. And a salad. I'm always dying. <laughs> Here is your order. Don't forget to leave a tip. I ordered precisely 400 milligrams. And this is 402. I brought 400. Exactly. Exact, he said. I'm the exact one. I'm a respected scientist. And still, nobody loves me. Don't say that, Grambo. I'm sure everybody adores you. Oh, you tease. Oh, have you heard about the planet of the Great Captains? It's a familiar name. They've opened a marvelous museum there to honor Captain Kim, who invented the formula for absolute fuel, and Captain Yuri, who saved the Earth from space pirates. These captains met a lot of rare animals. Yes, while... yes, I get your point. Well, you simply must go. Go to this planet and find out what kind of exotic animals they saw. So why you going? Well, it sounds interesting. Grambo, do you know someone there? Are you kidding? Of course! Listen, the director of the museum is Dr. Fred Sputnik. He is my dearest friend. He will gladly show you the logs the captains kept of their travels. Oh! There he is! Dr. Sputnik! Fred! Doctor! And why has he run away? Why? I'm no less important. Oh, I thought of him as my friend. Nobody loves me. Three to one, we won, we won! Are you kidding me? This is our little doll! <laughs> That's Alice. Ah! Grandma! <laughs> Alice! Let her go! Let her go, you boy! You, 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 you rusty kind of beans! <laughs> Please put Jones down. He was just trying to rescue me. Leave him where he is. That will teach the weirdo not to fight the famous Professor Grambo. Adieu. Oh, I let him get away. So, where to next, Professor? The planet of the captains, Jones. The planet of the captains! I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs>